Welcome to the Spring Boot Quick Guide. In this video, we are diving into a simple but super important concept. What's the real difference between at controller and at rest controller in Spring Boot, whether you are returning HTML pages or building JSON APIs? Knowing which one to use and when can save you from hours of confusion. Let's break it down in the next three minutes. Section 1. What is at controller? Let's start with at controller. It's used when you want to build a traditional web application, something that returns HTML pages rendered on the server. You typically use it with a templating engine like Timeleaf or JSP. For example, inside your controller, you define a method that handles a GET request, like HOME. You return a string like HOME, which maps to HOME, HTML in your templates folder. You can also pass data to the view using the model object. This lets you show dynamic data on your web page. Think of it like this. At controller equals view-based rendering. Your browser sends a request, Spring Boot processes it, and returns a fully formed HTML page. Section 2. What is at rest controller? Now let's talk about at rest controller. This is what you use when you're building REST APIs. Instead of returning a view name, you return raw data. Usually in JSON format, at rest controller is actually a shortcut. It's the same as using at controller and adding at response body on every method. So whatever your method returns like a string or an object, Spring will convert it into JSON and send it back in the HTTP response. No templating, no views, just pure data. For example, if you return the string hello API, your client gets back a plain text or JSON response with hello API. If you return a Java object, Spring will automatically convert it to JSON using Jackson. Section 3. Core differences. Let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. At controller is used for web applications with HTML rendering. At rest controller is used for APIs that send JSON or XML. At controller needs a view resolver. At rest controller skips views and goes straight to the response body. Use at controller when building websites. Use at rest controller when building APIs. It's that simple. Section 4. Common mistake. One common mistake developers make. They use at rest controller and expect it to return an HTML page. That won't work. Instead of rendering the page, it just returns the view name as text because at rest controller skips the view resolver. So make sure you're using the right annotation for the right use case. Outro, wrap up, and there you go. At controller for web pages, at rest controller for APIs. Easy to mix up, but once you get it, it clicks forever. If you like this short guide, check out the full Spring Boot playlist on the channel. Thanks for watching and keep coding strong.